You want to do the snapper? Yes, please. The, actually, this is my thing for Housewives. What? There's a whole reel of me. I love doing it's the slate. It's fun. Yeah, because I, I like this. Hi, we're in the studio today with Whitney. Woo! The lovely and iconic housewife from Salt Lake City who also is a stunning entrepreneur, Iris and Beau. Skincare I really use. Really I think good. people are always shocked to learn that it's a badass product. Oh, it's really you, good. Do you expect housewife just to white label something, put their name on it? But I've been working on this for five years, so that means a lot. This is my favorite product. Okay, I brought something for you to try because I saw your toner. <laughs> uh, your toner video and I was like I know you're probably supposed to put this on with a cotton pad I just squirted my hand were you traumatized I've, you know what's sad I went to beauty school <laughs> open up your bag oh clothing sell the merchandise mama sell the merchandise yeah this rose isn't scared to handle a little prick work this rose isn't scared to handle a little prick how many did you say and that was the one they picked yeah you how say like four to five but you don't know which one they're gonna pick Mm -mm. Do you like the one you got? Um, I like it, but it was highly sexualized by the gays. <laughs> <laughs> That's not your fault. Do you fault. know how many people slid into mine and my husband's DMs? That's of the like, gays he fault. actually has a large. <laughs> it's not about that, guys. Wait a minute. How did that feel for you when she said that on television? I, I, I didn't get it at first. You said, "Who are you talking about? Not me." <laughs> oh, sprayers. Yes, because you don't use pads. So I was like, "We are gonna make our own little thing here." I brought you some glycolic because you have amazing tone. But you, Thank you, you say texture is what you. Texture is my main thing, yeah. Okay, you need to start using some glycolic. You put on like a. Some a guy. Pad. Okay. <laughs> She's doing comedy here, folks. She's doing comedy in the studio today. So that's really good for um, resurfacing and texture. Glycolic's an exfoliator. So it, while it's hydrating, it returns your skin to its natural pH, which preps it for your serums. This is why you have people over for collaborative yeah. videos. You get free items. Well, and you use these, right? No. Okay, this is called a tinkle brush. It's an eyebrow brush. It's a razor. And what I do, it's called dermaplaning. So you just drag, like it gets all the little fuzz off your face. You get the peach fuzz. You know what I mean? And then I can't stand. Do you see that hair? Oh, mama. Women of Germanic heritage, we're talking to you. Yeah. Oh. Well, I get it too. It's peach fuzz. Mine's just blonde. This reminds me of the little brow shavers they sell at the beauty supply stores. Do I get a Trixie mirror? Yeah. Uh, what, can I have a mirror? Yeah. my drag, huh? Yeah. Do you see that? Do you see how quickly he about, became your assistant? <laughs> Today, I need more of a full coverage because look at this red. I had too much fun last night in the gay bars. Yeah, tell everybody what you did last night, you little harlot. Well, it was supposed to be just a quick little dinner. <laughs> um, next thing I know, I'm out in the gay bars. We went to Revolver, we went to the Abbey. We went, I don't know, we hit them all up. I was afraid you were gonna come in here all dignified and I was like, I better be like on. I can't be that trashy. Oh. I was out last night, but you're that trashy Listen, person. Listen, I'm not, I'm not trashy whore right now. I'm, I'm not, I'm not puking. I'm just like shaky. <laughs> like maybe I need a hair of the dog. Do you need nip? What would you like? <laughs> maybe like a champagne. Yeah, I'm some champs. That's, That's very housewife. Yeah, sure. you were my first season of Housewives. I was your first. Oh. Well, you know, when everybody's on season ten of a major franchise, it's a little intimidating. Yeah. And since your season was brand new during COVID, I felt like I could jump in. So you jumped into the housewife pond. I did. Salt Lake City was your first. Can we show the children the caboodle? Do you want to hold it up oh, on camera? Oh, yes. This is my adult caboodle. It's definitely a caboodle. I was like into my caboodle. I put everything in it. So I put my Barbies in them. Oh, it was like luggage. Yeah, room. because my dad was a hairdresser and he actually owned an aesthetic school. That's right. I always saw him carrying his hair bag around. So you were like... So I always just had my caboodle. Wow. Free haircuts for life, man. Like crazy haircuts too, because he'd go off to like one dinner Prague on to hair shows and come back and he'd be like, 11 year old Whitney, you're getting a bi-level... <gasps> Work! <laughs> like a, like a I, what is it called? Asymmetrical haircut. And you're like, okay. Yeah, when I was in junior high, I had like one side up to here and one long. And that wasn't a thing back then. Uh, no, you started it. Yeah. Uh, right now I'm really into the glow. Dior. Show the children. Do the influencer thing where you put your... What do I do? You hold up the product and you put your hand behind it. <laughs> I'm a new I'm new to the influencer thing. Yeah. Okay. There you go. I'm sure you noticed right away when you became a famous housewife that the Drag Race fandom and the Housewives fandom are pretty much the same people. They are. 
I love it. I think it's like the perfect crossover. It really is. There's so many similarities to Drag Race and Housewives. It's kind of like the Hunger Games. Oh, entirely. <laughs> this bench is... It really is squeaky. Sorry, everyone. Sorry, I keep moving too. We used to have um, kitchen chairs in here, but I got rid of the kitchen table so that I could put the Peloton in the dining room. I don't need to be eating. I need to be working out. If See, you're sitting down for a meal, the meal's too big. Huh. For me. Have you ever done marijuana? Have I done marijuana? Yeah. Yeah, I know my way around THC. <laughs> okay, I just started my THC journey during COVID and it awakened a level of eating in me that scared me and everyone around me. Like a 2 a.m. like making pancakes, like that kind uh -oh. of behavior. Yeah, I was actually a huge pothead for a while. Really? And then I had to stop. You were yeah. getting too wild? The moment that I realized I should probably stop is when I thought I was watching a movie about myself. I, I tripped out. I've had that experience. <laughs> but is that foresight? Because we both then have been on TV. Maybe. Maybe TV stars are also marijuana stars. I don't know. Have you heard of Morning Bowl? No, what is that? That's what we should have done. Cause I'm, you're kind of hungover. I'm like really hungover. Can we get this woman a hair of the dog? <laughs> it's like a morning bowl is just like a little, you just take a little hit oh. and it just kind of makes is it? everything okay. Really? A oh, morning bowl. Bowl. I don't speak English very well. I think that's why I love your show so much too, because when you, say like program yeah. and stuff like that yes. yeah I, there's a lot of words that i know i'm saying wrong but i like the way i say it like program i grew up on a farm like backwoods utah and big backwoods barbie energy yes i left half my brushes in the bathroom we have tons <laughs> of brand new brushes if you need them is there are these brushes that people just send to you yeah this is from prados beauty it's a native american owned brand oh and they wow give me brushes and i'm kind of a brush whore so i love importing brushes We've been donating my makeup to like centers for trans women and stuff because we get so much free makeup. We, I mean, I can't realistically get through all of it. And these brands are really generous. They'll send me the entire shade range of a foundation. Oh, wow. You know, I'm one person yeah. and I don't do makeup anymore. So there's people who need this. Oh. That doesn't suck though. Pop it. I'll you should pop it, but pop it carefully, okay? Oh God, I'm scared. Okay. I'm gonna run away. Okay. Whitney, close your eyes. Okay, like, we're, gonna, we're gonna We're gonna protect our close face. Oh! <laughs> Wow, that was kind of scary. Cheers, y'all. See, this is my kind of getting ready. Just sitting with your girlfriend, drinking, chatting. This hungover woman showed up at my house. I know where you live. You do know where I live. Are you nervous? I'm a gay man. There's a lot of people who shouldn't have my address who do. Did you know, like going into it, people who love housewives love it. Okay, so I've been a housewife fan since the beginning. Your friend Lisa, like I saw her very first season. Oh, really? And I was like, what is this? It's kind of a train wreck, but I love it. Yeah. And since then I've watched every franchise, every city. Obviously it's funny to watch like, oh, it's funny to watch someone get a little drunk or it's interesting to watch someone fight, but the resounding parts of it are like the embarrassing parts or the parts where someone really shows their ass because We've all done it. Like, same as Drag Race. You relate more to the person who runs their mouth and feels bad about it later. Are you actually friends with the other queens, like off camera? Uh, some of them. Not or, all of them. Or is it like you film and you become build these relationships and then it kind of just goes away when the cameras are gone? They are real relationships, but you're work friends. Yeah. Well, because Heather and I, we actually hang out in real life. I, I could tell that. IRL. Energy. She is kind of, she's like you, kind of queen of the gays. The yeah. gays turn up for Heather. Hi, Heather. Hi, Heather Gay, buzzing cousins. Yes, people love her. That one scene where she goes, if somebody talked to my daughter like that, kick her to the curb. I'm like, work, Heather. I got yeah, invested. Yeah, you're, you're gonna love, you're gonna love. I also love entrepreneurs, so I love, you know, you or Heather. I love people running a business. That, to me, is always interesting drama because having your name on a business, it does introduce a lot of stress that business owners understand, you know? You know, I never started getting these red cheeks until my business and i just feel this pressure is like a woman born and raised mormon like typically women don't go out and start a company and the men don't invest in it right right people don't realize what it takes to do even just this make one lipstick it's a year of work this youtube channel it's not stressful but this is several people's okay. salary and stuff i don't know how you do it i always get so awkward like i'll go on reality television and get drunk and like Scream. take my top off <laughs> But like trying to do a story on Instagram, I freak out. Did you ever own Barbies? I did. I would always undress them and cut their hair off. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually not I crazy. I like naked Barbies. How do you feel about kids? How old? 
She's 11. That's fine. Hi, Bobby. Hi, sweetheart. <laughs> I know I look crazy, but this probably will look good later. She knows what drag is. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, love you, bye. Bye. You have children. I have children. When you have all gay friends, like I do, I am always like, oh my gosh, children. Does that make sense? Like, I'm always like, people have children. Uh-huh. I can't imagine Can how I... you do all this. Why do you think I'm always hungover? <laughs> why do you, like, why do you think I'm a woman <laughs> on the edge? It's always the zero to 60 in a fight when someone brings up someone's kids. Oh. Because you forget that these are mama bears and so mm -hmm. things get very personal very quickly. If you want to put someone in jail, just bring up the housewife's child. Yeah, it can get That'll really... That'll put her in jail. Uh, oh! I, mean... I shouldn't say that. <laughs> Oh, oh! I didn't even put that together. <laughs> I didn't put that together. I thought we were talking about makeup jail. Yeah, makeup jail. Makeup jail. Do you have any beauty pet peeves that you see besides me putting tone around with my hands? When people don't blend their eyeliner. When That's... you can see like the crusty line. Mine is when you don't put makeup on the chest and the ears. Jail. It's 2021. You have to pull that down. Pull it together. It's not that hard. And by the way, especially, I mean, I love housewives. I love housewives, but I have seen too many instances. Red freckly neck. Perfect face. You're gonna be on television. Yeah. Dip yourself in house paint, Mary. <laughs> Mary. You know what I mean? like, not well, Mary in general, not Mary. Yeah. But, so in this video, if we say Mary, it could be any Mary. It's yeah. not Mary, Mary. Well, there is something about Mary. There is something about Mary. Mary really came out hot as far as capturing the interest of, of the United States of America. Stupid. How stressed do you get having to put together interview looks and reunion looks? That it's like probably the hardest part of the job. I would think so. We are like, is this right or should I do this? So we send in realistically probably like 20 looks at a time and then Bravo chooses them. Oh my God. Yeah. What's been the hardest thing about it? The hardest thing about housewives is I'm drunk all the time. <laughs> The amount of time that you have to dedicate to it. Being a wife, a mother, an entrepreneur, business owner, it can be really hard for me to balance my life. We were just talking about this. I went to, don't laugh, I went to a moonlight, mm -hmm. wait, was it a solstice? Mm -hmm. Basically gay sitting on a lawn around a candle talking about things they want to let go. It like was, a seance? Yeah, kind of. It was like mostly porn actors and a couple drag queens, so obviously certain people's issues were oh, wackier some, than others. Yeah. Everyone was like, I'm still trying to get this off the ground, and I was like, not to be gauche, but everything in my life is going so great. My main issue is trying to do a few things well instead of trying to do 30 things not like, good enough. okay. Right. right. I didn't realize I care a lot about like other people's, like what they think. Yes. That's the Mormon in me. I can't take it out. The cool thing is to go, I don't care what people think, but there is those like 2 a.m. moments where you're like, That's... somebody said something f***ed up to me on Twitter and I'm still thinking about it. I think it's one thing, I, yeah, hold me down. Well, so there's something very sobering. Here, we'll go back to back. There's something very sobering a about really cute moment. seeing yourself on TV. You learn a lot about your not great traits. Yeah. Seeing your life played, oh, let's pose the picture. <laughs> I'm gonna show you my favorite mascara because I'm obsessed with it. Oh, I found my brushes. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Professional beauty influencers in the channel today. See, I just needed a ship. A ship. I needed a ship of champagne. Wow, Housewives has really changed you. You got one makeup artist and suddenly you don't know where anything is. Oh yeah, I love it. Ooh. This is like eyelash magic. Oh. So when you're not filming, you do your own makeup, right? Most oh yeah, time. and I do my own makeup filming too. That's great. Yeah. So does Lisa. Yeah. Lisa almost always does her own makeup, she said. She does. Oh, Lisa Seen Vanderpump. It? Vanderpump, I yeah, have sorry. A Lisa too. Multiple Lisas. That's so weird that you were a fan and now you are a housewife. Is that crazy? It did is. you manifest that? I think I did. God was listening to your DVR. Did we all go through stuff? That was my reward. Or punishment. Yeah. <laughs> no, and I love a good theme and costume. The gays and the housewives, we love a theme. A theme. We only need a slight suggestion of a party theme and we're like, oh sh. I'm gonna have to have something made. Uh -huh. I'm gonna have to block my schedule. We had some interesting party themes this year, this season, season two. Oh, I can't wait to see it. Yeah. We find out what's on TV the week you find out what's on TV. We don't have time to emotionally, spiritually prepare for what we see on television. Do you what's your like ritual? get a link a couple days before and that's how you saw it? Or okay. did you watch it as it aired? With oh, as. I'd be at viewing parties at gay bars watching myself like lip sync for my life and stuff like that in front of people watching me do it. 
And then it cut to an interview of me being like, F her in the audience like, <laughs> and I'm like, let's get a drink guys. <laughs> so let's talk brushes because I have like been obsessed with the Morphe foundation brush. <gasps> I love that brush. I have like four of them. This thing is amazing. We are the same person. I'm not kidding. I could have got ready with your makeup today. But I, I want to get in drag with you because it's my dream to be a drag queen. Would you ever come back on the channel and do like a, a put you in drag? Yes. Yeah. One hundred percent. That would, that be, would fun, be an honor. Right? I see you in like a Trixie makeup, big blonde wig, very yes. Dolly Parton energy. I love Dolly Parton. Like I'm a country girl, and my mom is named Jolene. Oh my God. Uh, I grew up thinking Dolly wrote songs for my mom. Maybe she did, maybe your mom's a slut. Oh, we have stories about my mom. <laughs> but she's a good Mormon girl now. Oh, she's reformed. Yeah. I love that brush and I love that foundation. I know that this foundation's been around for like 20 years, but I'm sorry, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. One, it has SPF, you know, I'm a skincare freak. And watch this, my, my cheeks, that red, there's one light layer. Yeah, it's But fierce. it has sunscreen and it's self-setting. Okay, yeah, this makeup is coming together. Wow. You uh, found out your cousin's with Heather? On the show. So I had met her. She recommended me. We, I was trying to tell you this story. So she recommended me to the producers. We didn't know we were cousins. It's the Utah version of I didn't know I was pregnant because it's such a small town. Because if you're born and raised in Utah, you need to do your genealogy before you start sleeping around and dating because you, you might be with your cousin. <gasps> I never met my real dad, but I found out he lives in Akron, Ohio, and I don't f around there for that same reason because I do like older men. Oh, we have that in common too. Are you, <laughs> are you a top or a bottom? I'm a bottom. Are you a versatile bottom or is it just a bottom? No, I'm just a bottom from hell. A bottom from hell? You know, when I have to top, it's like Handmaid's Tale. I'm like crying, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I know, I'm like, uh, am I convincing anyone here? I'm gonna top you, this is gonna be fierce. So I use my finger, cause I'm starting to get old lady eye. She's getting an old lady eye, folks. If this right is here. what you look like in your mid 40s, Mid 30s, sorry, mid 30s. I'm, 50, I'm 55. <laughs> mid 30s. Were you, were you, did you get carded basically until yesterday? I am 34. 35 in a month. Okay. okay, she's not, she's in her early 30s, okay? I still get carded. I think it's my voice. Especially if you had bangs, I think you would fully pass for like a 28, like a child. I love you. You're young for a housewife though, think of that. I'm the youngest housewife. Of all I of them. am the young. I'm like the oldest drag queen at this point. Everyone in drag either quits or dies by 30. I don't know what the hell I'm still doing. Let's say you haven't done Housewives yet. What's the franchise? What's the one? Beverly Hills. I love New York. I love Atlanta. I love them all. I would say I don't have like a franchise. I have my favorite Housewives. I love Bethany Frankel. So good. Sonia Morgan. So good. I actually love your friend Lisa. She's an icon. I miss her. Kyle Richards. Who's um, never looked better by the way. I know. Her new nose is amazing. Yeah, she looks bomb. I love Rena. I, li I like watching her dancing videos. I kind of oh get my. sucked down her Instagram feed sometimes. She dances with so much joy. <laughs> and it's always this face. I also love when it's Harry Hamlin in the background actually doing something, but he completely ignores her. He's like unfazed. <laughs> I love it. She could be lighting the house on fire and he'll just be watering his flowers. <laughs> I know. Do you have any taglines you wish they would have used if you had multiple? I may have the voice of an angel, but watch out because this rose has its thorns. You have a lot of good ones. Yeah. This is your first time on television? Yeah. Reality TV is interesting because it is your first time on television. I think that was my biggest regret from season one. I was like, I shouldn't have dimmed my own shine so much. Well, there was so much happening around you. I mean, yeah, what do you- Yeah, women are intense. They are, and, and certain people really on 11 at all times, it's like- Well, and I'm sorry, I've never had someone threaten to kill me and drown me in the lake behind my house before. So- I know, that was sick. On national television. So forgive me for taking a step back and being like, do I really want to rock the boat? Yeah! <laughs> you are a woman who likes to dance. How do you feel about the time and the place in which you dance? I mean, don't play music if you don't want people to dance. Tea! I have to drop this product bomb because I am obsessed with the cream blushes from Bobbi Brown. Oh. It is so yummy and I love to carry this, this rouge all the way up. I love blush. But um, the cream blush, it's great, especially as you age. Yes. And then you can cheat it if you want and use it as eyeshadow or like on your lips. I can neither confirm nor deny that we're working on cream blushes. Oh, I may or may not be excited about that. Oh yeah, what's the gig today? I'm going up to a friend's house to a gay pool party. Thank God. If we walk in together, is everybody gonna know who we are? We better go in different wig colors because the paparazzi's gonna be there for People sure. People will think we're twins. 
So I'm gonna finish my eyeliner really quick and uh, throw on some lips and we'll be right back. And this is the final look. Wow, I'm a giant. <laughs> you look really beautiful. Thank you, so do you, Trixie. It was an honor to be here with you today. It was a blast. Can you please let everybody know where they can find your skin products, please? Yes, irisandbow.com. Please subscribe to the channel and tune in with the rest of us for Salt Lake City season two. It's gonna be incredible. I'm ready for beauty, I'm ready for emotions, I'm ready for all of it. Oh, an arrest? Uh, an arresting situation, <laughs> perhaps? Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Bye.